Hello, in this video, we're going to go over how you can set up typewriter text in Unreal Engine so we can display some text and make it appear letter by letter. And you'll also be able to control how fast it will display each letter. Hello, to get started, let's first create a widget which will display our typewriter text. To do that, if we just right click, go over to Use Interface and select a widget blueprint, then the user widget and I'll just call this my widget blueprint underscore typewriter. Then if we double click to open this up and go over to the palette and look for a canvas panel and just drag this in. Then look for a horizontal box and just drag this into the canvas panel and just drag and expand it, move it towards the bottom and also just anchor this towards the bottom. Then look for some text and just drag this text inside of the horizontal box, select the text and just make it fill. And then for this text, we want to rename it, just call it the type writer text and make sure that it is a variable. So just check this box. Then to code some logic for this so that it displays line by line, we first want to just go over to our graph, right click and look for add custom event and just call this update text. When we call this, we'll basically update our typewriter text with um, whatever text we want. To do that, if we just add an input here and just call this full text and change the variable to be a string. And then in order to make this display letter by letter, we want to create two new variables. Um, so create a new variable and call the first one display text and make sure that it is a string and then create another new variable and call it the full text and also make sure it's a string. Then if you just select the display text and hold Alt on your keyboard when you drag it in, that will automatically um, set it. And we just want to set it so it's blank and connect this into here. Then we just want to drag in the full text as well and set it and connect from here to here. Although this time connect from the full text into here. Then we just want to have a delay we can change the length of this later, but make it 0.02 for now. This will be how long it basically takes to display each line of our text. After this delay, we want to look for a sequence and we're basically going to add a line from the full text into the display text. So to do that, we can just drag in the display text and the full text. If you hold control on your keyboard, when you drag this in, it will automatically get it. And what we're gonna do is we just wanna get the full text and look for get sub string. This will get all of the um, text in the full text. And then we want to get our display text and we want to get the length of it. And then just drag off here and look for add. And we just want to add one. Connect from here to here. And this will add um, one line from the full text to the display text. Then we want to tell the game that this is our new display text. So just drag this in and set it. Connect from here to here and from here to here. And then we want to tell our game that this should be our new text. So if we drag in the typewriter text, drag off here, and look for set text. And on this one, set text text, connect from here to here, and from here to here. And this will now display um, whatever our display text has. Then in order to make sure that this updates um, until the display text has all the full text, we just want to drag off here and have a branch. And we want to check to see if the full text is ever equal to the display text. So if we copy the nodes here, go Control C and Control V, we want to see if the full text is equal. So look for equal, and we want this one equal exact string. If the full text is ever equal to the display text, then it's finished displaying all the text, and this will be true. However, if this is false, then we can just connect from false into the delay here. I'm just going to double click that of reroute nodes; so it's a bit tidier. And then every 0.02 seconds, and then every 0.02 seconds, it will add um, a line from the full text to the display text until it's finished running. Let's go back to our designer and just make sure that um, the text starts off empty. Then just go compile and save this. Then close this, and we want to head over to our blueprints folder, and we just want to open up the third person character. Go over to event begin play. And after we do this, 
we just want to look for create widget and the widget we want to create is the type writer um, widget blueprint and we just want to right click on this and permit to a variable and call it the type writer and then after this just drag off here and look for add to viewport then just to test this out in some free space if we just right click and look for the one key when i press this i'm going to drag in my typewriter variable drag off here and look for update text and i'll connect from one into here and i'm going to make it say unreal uni is awesome and then i'm just going to right click again and look for the two key and then i'm just going to copy these nodes control c and control v when i press 2 i'm going to make it say today is a great day to learn unreal engine i'll compile this and save it now if i play my game when i press 1 um, line by line it will say unreal uni is awesome if i press 2 it'll say today is a great day to learn unreal engine and that's how to easily create typewriter text in unreal engine it could be good to combine this with a dialogue system and if you're looking for a good and dynamic dialogue system i made a tutorial about how you can set that up i'll make sure it appears somewhere on the screen now and if you want to continue your unreal engine learning make sure to check out my unreal engine master bundle there'll be a link to it in the description of this video if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye